Hey everyone, Sean Frangelli here for MotionTutorials.net with a Cinema 4D video on a new feature for R18, the MoGraph Weight Painting System. So this is a really cool new update that you can use to really adjust and manipulate which specific clones are being affected by your MoGraph effector. So here we have a pretty straightforward cloner system. We have a cube that's being cloned on a grid array with one axis. So if we were to add any effectors, let's just go to MoGraph plane. It's just going to move all of them up by default. And if we check on rotation, it's just going to rotate all of them in the same direction. Well, what if we wanted to do that, but we wanted to apply it only to the edges or have kind of a different pattern. We can do that and really customize which clones are being impacted by an effector by using our new MoGraph weight paintbrush. So I'll go to MoGraph and grab that. And that's going to open up this brush tool. And we can see on the right, there's our strength. And if we start clicking, it's going to change our clones from red to yellow. And the fall off is going to be orange. So we could click and paint. If we want our strength to be higher or lower, we could turn that up over here. If we want our brush to be bigger or smaller, we can press the brackets left and right. And that's going to scale that up and down. So we could paint the edges and maybe a slash along the center and just grab different areas just to show what's being impacted. Now, this is all being saved on this MoGraph weight map tag. So if we want to apply that to this cloner, all we got to do is go to our plane effector and for selection, we can drag in this little icon. And now the only areas of this cloner that are going to be impacted are the yellow areas. So if we go to our plane effector and let's just turn position Y way up so we can see what's happening. You can see that the clones that are yellow are going to be impacted completely by this. The red ones, not at all. And orange, it's going to smoothly transition along based on what's impacted. So you can get an incredible amount of control of which clones are being affected with our weight map. And we could even add more cloners. So I'm going to add a step effector and that's going to scale them. And it's automatically going to drop that selection in as that weight map. If I delete that, you can see this is what we'd get by default. And then we could just drag in this weight map. And if we wanted a different one for this effector, we could get our cloner again. And with my MoGraph weight paintbrush selected as a tool, or I could go to MoGraph weight paintbrush right here. If I need to get that tool back up, I could start painting again. So let's paint a different area just for the sake of discussion. And I'll make this brush really big. And you can see it's made a second selection tag. And on my step effector, I could add that one. So I could even have multiple weight maps in one cloner system on different cloners. And then I could just animate the strength on and off. You can see how that's driving the movement and animation. So using weight maps in a cloner system is a really cool thing you can do when you are using the MoGraph weight paintbrush. It's something totally new for MoGraph and unlocks a lot of potential on what you could do with your animation. And if you want to check out more new features for Cinema 4D R18, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have full breakdowns on all of the new features, including my top five new features, MoGraph updates, the new thin film shader, the awesome new Vernoy fracture, and more new features. And don't forget to check out some of the new Cinema 4D products I have in the online store at motiontutorials.net slash store, where you can pick up Cinema 4D templates, lighting and rendering assets, and new packs for 360 Environment Maps Pro, which are packs of 8K environment photos, assets, and a Cinema 4D templates to quickly and easily make your 3D scenes look awesome. If you have any questions on this tutorial or any of my other new feature tutorials, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella and check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. I love hearing from fans of the videos and talking about all these new features. And if you want a quick dose of other new features for R18, be sure to check out the other R18 videos I have up on YouTube by clicking on any of those thumbnails that are popping up there now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.